January was a wild ride for those invested in the U.S. dollar. At one point, the currency hit a 14-month high. But by the end of the month, the U.S. dollar index had fallen 2.6 percent against a basket of currencies, suffering its worst January decline in 30 years. The reversal came after a statement from U.S. President Donald Trump saying the dollar had become too strong. A strong dollar makes U.S. exports more expensive, hurting U.S. manufacturers, a sector Trump has vowed to revive. His statement indicated a dramatic reversal in dollar policy. The strong dollar policy has been the cornerstone of U.S. fiscal policy towards the dollar for the past 20 years, ever since Robert Rubin under President Clinton uh, made it so. And, and that really was a sign that, you know, you could come to the U.S., you can invest in U.S.-denominated assets, and the U.S. government would not touch them. They would not intervene. So the fact that this may be off the table takes away what's been a 20-year assurance for the greenback. Currency experts say the U.S. president has little to no control over the direction of the dollar. Market forces and monetary policy set by the independent Federal Reserve are what drive the value of the currency. He can't fire Janet Yellen or threaten to fire her uh, over whether or not he, uh, she uh, raises or lowers the interest rates. I don't believe that's in his power, but we'll see. The market expects the Fed to raise rates twice this year. Rate hikes traditionally boost the value of the dollar, but Vecchio says uncertainty over Trump administration policies on trade could push the dollar lower despite interest rate increases. During the election, everyone said, don't take him literally, just take him seriously. And now everyone's saying, well, maybe he was serious about this border protection tax. And if that's the case, then we're probably going to see the dollar fundamentally change how it's viewed globally speaking. A recent report by J.P. Morgan called policy emissions from the White House erratic and advised selling the dollar. So I think that you actually will not see a stronger dollar but a weaker dollar this year because of lack of confidence in the United States as a, uh, as a safe haven any for any, as, as much as it has been regarded in the past. A weaker U.S. dollar may be good for U.S. manufacturers, but consumers would be hit as import prices would rise, making many of the goods they buy more expensive. Experts say in these uncertain times, investors seeking safety are less likely to buy the U.S. dollar and will likely buy the Japanese yen and Swiss franc. Karina Huber, CGTN, New York.